TSMC introduces N4P chip manufacturing process. Leading found to TSMC announced a performance-focused enhancement of its N5 nominal 5 nanometer semiconductor manufacturing process. The company describes N4P as the third major enhancement of TSMC's 5 nanometer family. From a system-on-a-chip developer's point of view, what matters most is how it performs as benchmarked against a known process such as N5. N4P will deliver an 11% performance boost over N5 and a 6% boost over N4. Compared to N5, N4P will also deliver a 22% improvement in power efficiency and a 6% improvement in transistor density. One major reason TSMC introduced N4P technology is to increase wafer production. N4P lowers process complexity and improves wafer cycle time by reducing the number of masks required, resulting in a cheaper manufacturing process. This is presumably through greater use of extreme ultraviolet lithography for critical layers. With the emphasis on performance, N4P is being aimed at high performance computing chip and smartphone application processes. Kevin Zhang, senior VP of business development at TSMC, said the following regards the latest announcement. With N4P, TSMC strengthens our portfolio of advanced logic semiconductor technologies, each with its unique blend of performance, power efficiency and cost. N4P was optimized to provide a further enhancement advanced technology platform for both HPC and mobile applications. Between all the variants of N5, N4 and N3 technologies, our customers will have the ultimate flexibility and unmatched choice of the best mix of attributes for their products. TSMC is expected to release the first tape-outs on N4P by the second half of 2022. Earlier, the manufacturer was set to mass-produce 3 nanometer chips for Apple in the second half of 2022, but node might be delayed. Instead, Apple would have to rely on the 4 nanometer architecture, which the company is set to have secured early shipments from TSMC. Based on this announcement, it looks like Apple's A16 Bionic chip might be mass-produced on the N4P node. Qualcomm, who was previously rumored to switch to TSMC for a booking of Snapdragon 898 Plus, orders on the 4 nanometer technology might have no choice but to stick with the same route. Regardless, N4P still provides a decent improvement over N5, but how well will these improvements carry forward when it comes to real-world problems? It looks like we will find out in the coming months.